Season's greetings from Ferrer. We're trying something a bit different this year. We want to show you how our scientific expertise and ideas can be applied to a whole variety of different situations. And here's one that applies just this time of year. Have a look at this clip and see what you think. I wonder if you could help. Mm. I've got a very large herd of reindeer on my farm in North Yorkshire, and I, I know them all by name. I, I like them very much. There's, mm. there's Angus, there's, there's Hilary, there's mm. Phil, there's Paul. Um, but there's one turned up and I really don't recognise him. Um, seems to like mince pies um, and quite fond of sherry. Um, he also got a, a red nose. Um, so I, I was going to take him down to the vet. But I wondered, could you help me find out where he's from? Because I really don't think he's one of mine. Oh, OK. Well, that's not something that we would normally do. But we do have a team of scientists who should be able to help. So if we were given a sample of reindeer fur, the first thing we'd do is we'd get extract some DNA from the root tips of the fur. We'd then um, probably go for mitochondrial DNA sequences, which would just give us information about what subspecies of reindeer we're looking at, which will give us a rough idea of the geographic origin. Well, first of all, we would sample the droppings and cultivate bacteria from them on a specific agar. Then we'd take all the DNA out of the bacteria and sequence it on our Illumina MySeq and sequence the whole genome of the bacteria. We could compare this to online databases to find out where the closest relatives of the bacteria came from and hopefully give us an idea of where this sample has come from. And we could take um, some DNA from that plant matter and then figure out which plants that had, um, they had come from, which might give us an idea of where in the world the, the reindeer had been before um, it had arrived in the field. We could also look at um, any mud that was on its hooves, um, which would, as well with next generation sequencing, would give us a really unique signature for, for that particular mud in that region. Well, that sounds really good. Um, I'll go back to my farm and bring in those samples and pe perhaps you could, could help me. Excellent, Excuse yes. me, I seem to have lost a ring. Yay, brilliant. That was really good. Oh, yeah. dear. Did, we look, did that look normal? 